A plane goes down right near I-4. Shocking video captures the emergency tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. At this hour, we are working to find out when that plane will be moved or if you'll see it on your drive to work tomorrow. News 6's Troy Campbell is live along the Maitland Boulevard ramp with these breaking updates. Troy. Maitland police say that the pilot told them he was traveling from South Carolina. He was intending to land at an airport just miles from here when he ran out of fuel within the last hour. Investigators actually placed that yellow tape around the aircraft. And again, luckily during rush hour, the pilot was able to land this aircraft without anyone being injured. Mayday, mayday. The pilot on board this Piper 28 aircraft heard on radio transmission saying he has run out of fuel 11 miles north of Orlando's executive airport. No airport, no airport. This dash camera video showing the plane flying low before making the emergency landing. Radar landing. Crushed. Maitland police saying the pilot used the eastbound lanes of Maitland Boulevard as a runway, striking the back of a four door sedan, but narrowly missing other vehicles. The pilot and the driver of the vehicle walking away without injury. We're very happy about that. You know, wish it had been none on the road, but definitely we're glad with how that came about and that we can just get the roadways open. No serious injuries, no serious damage to anything. According to the National Transportation Safety Board, lack of fuel is the sixth leading cause of all aircraft accidents from 2011 to 2015. I mean, I for you think you see everything, but not planes landing. I'm glad I wasn't in traffic when that happened. This video from November 2017 shows another private aircraft making an emergency landing on I-4 in Seminole County. The pilot citing engine failure. No injuries were reported in that incident as well. Give kudos. I was in the Gulf War and I've seen experienced pilots never get that lucky. And police say that aircraft will stay out here on scene until federal investigators can get out here. We're also told there is minor damage to the plane from the landing. But again, investigators tonight saying this could have been a lot worse. Live in Maitland tonight, Troy Campbell getting results, News 6.